Welcome to Chalk Talk, the podcast where we dive deep into the topics that matter most to family-owned businesses, entrepreneurs, and anyone navigating the complex world of business leadership. I'm Tiffany Carter, and Rory Shepard and I are excited to bring you insights, strategies, and discussions that reflect the very essence of what we do at Action Coach of West Texas. Hi, Rory. How you doing, Tiffany? I'm fantastic. What is our topic today? I was about to ask you that question. So what is our topic today? Uh, assessments. Assessments. Something we really love. I love assessments. So what about assessments are we going to talk about? I think the first question is, um, why why assessments? Why should someone be interested in, in utilizing it, the results of assessment in, a, in an organization? So I think that uh, that's a question we get quite often is just, you know, why do I need to do that? Or why should I do that? Or what, what's the recommendation around that? And I think for me, it's that um, we've got a pretty powerful set of um, kind of proven researched, um, research based kind of sets of questions that can give us quick insight, um, whether that's something like DISC or MBTI, which are kind of behavior or personality based assessments um, to kind of know a little bit about you. We love DISC because it talks about um, whether you're outgoing or reserved, whether you're people oriented or task oriented, but then also um, how I should communicate with you, right? Mm -hmm. Do you prefer bullet summary point, you know, summary bullet point version, or do you want all the details so that you can consume it? And uh, those tools give us a shortcut to that. And so I think that that would be the first place where I would go of just, why do I do assessments? But then beyond that, I think um, we love a, a, a large group of assessments. And the reason why we do that is then because whether it's DISC or MBTI or Enneagram, any of those, they give me a snapshot or just one perspective. And it's the power happens when I tie, you know, two, three, four, five, six of those together. And then I get different perspectives on you where, and it's your version of you because you're the one answering the questions. And so it's not my perception, but it's you answering the questions and giving me insight that then I can utilize so that you and I are more productive quick, you know, more quickly. But I also understand how to communicate with you differently than the way I prefer to be communicated to yeah, love that. Have you do you have a testimonial from a client that that has had that type of impact? Almost everyone that we um, do a package of assessments with um, end up coming back and just saying that the value of that is tremendous. So we did uh, we had an organization that back in late May, early June, um, we did a package of assessments with and they you know, one of their comments was just that it took years off of getting to know each other uh, because I had insight from multiple tools and say, so I'm not going to tell every organization that they're going to, you know, fast track by years, but the breakthroughs are tremendous almost every time we do those. Uh, and it's the two things that I would say is that in most cases, it's not I didn't know that about myself again, because I'm taking the assessment. <laughs> uh, so very few people get a, an aha moment that's so large about themselves, but I think they do allow you to share that with someone else. But even more, the second piece of that is that all of a sudden I have a common language, mm -hmm. that whether it's language out of disc language out of, of a tool like working genius, that's really more related to, my strengths and my weaknesses and kind of how I, I can be more productive or something like the Y operating system uh, to where that I go back to Simon Sinek's golden circle of why, how, and what, and I know what those are. Um, I probably already knew what my why was, right? How I was wired, but now I've got language that I can put to it um, that is very helpful with others. Absolutely. So you've kind of thrown out several different assessment tools there there, we both talk a lot. There are so many different assessments out there. Which ones would you recommend they begin with? 
Yeah, so we get that quite often as well. Um, you know, I think we've got a core set of, you know, a handful that whether you're doing it as an individual or you're doing it as a team that we would say these are great places to start. Um, you know, one would be disc and motivators. We put those two together. So I get your personality, um, kind of your your preferences on action, interaction, communication, but then kind of what are those key drivers on your values on why you act that way? Uh, mm -hmm. So that's always a good one. We like the why discovery tool um, because that core of why you do the things that you do, how you do those, and then what I should expect to get from you and kind of that wiring, um, mm -hmm. why discovery tool is very important. In a team-based environment, I would say working genius is one that uh, very consistently we're going to say is in the top one, two, or three, um, depending on the situation and kind of what you're facing as a team. And then we've got more specific ones around um, individual productivity, um, whether that's our time gainer assessment, whether it's something like sales IQ. So if you were a salesperson, um, we've got one that is very, very honed in and very specific to sales techniques. So they kind of get fit for purpose after the first three, four or five. Um, but those core three or four would be disc and motivators, YOS, working genius. Uh, those would be the ones that I would start with in most cases, individual or team. Yeah, I, I agree. I just love those. Um, Rory knows this is my jam. I love, I love assessments. So if they want to engage with us in assessments, what should they do next? Um, just reach out, right? So you can, you know, send us a message, send us an email, direct message us, you know, just get in contact with us. Um, we will work with you. And again, we can show you the full menu um, and then kind of talk about where are the challenges? Where, you know, where is a gap or do you know where the gaps are? Um, and so then we can kind of write a prescription for you if you were, if you would on kind of where we would start and why. Um, and then we would go from there. But yeah, just reach out. We'd love to talk about assessments. Uh, it's one of our favorite things and a guarantee um, from a, from a client perspective, the insight is tremendous and the communication changes almost immediately after you do a bank of assessments. Awesome. Love it. Love assessments. Um, thanks for sharing your insight today, Rory. And thanks for joining us on Chalk Talk.